Hi, this is a Technology Ridecast. I'm Mark Farley, and our special guest this afternoon is Rochelle Alvers. How are you doing, Rochelle? Great, Mark. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for coming along. And you are the Technical Work Group Chair for Swordfish. Yes, I, it's the Scalable Storage Management Technical Work Group, and we are producing the Swordfish Scalable Management API specification. But what we're doing with Swordfish is really a, a big transformation now that the storage market has really shifted we're seeing this huge resurgence in new ways that we have storage deployed right there's hyper converged there's converged there's hyperscale and so we really needed a management standard that allows storage to plug into those environments so like server sans or like v sans or something like that is does this apply to those as well it applies to all of those so it looks at you know rack scale configurations it looks at small storage it looks at big storage it looks at cloud storage how can we provide a management standard that works in all of those configurations so what if i'm a developer and i'm you know just working in a devops environment or i want to figure out storage for whatever i'm working on is there you know, does it work for me too? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that Swordfish does, because it's a REST-based interface, a DevOps person can use it directly, and it works with their existing tool sets. It's really easy to use Python scripts uh, directly. You, you can interact directly with REST APIs in your web browser. I think end users and companies are looking for ways to make that storage management more transparent. Uh, what's going on with Swordfish to, to help that? It's very much in our nature as engineers and as pr developing products to want to show off every single feature and we've unfortunately we've exposed that in our APIs. So what we're doing with Swordfish is we've actually introduced, uh, and this is very novel for a standard, uh, we've exposed class of service based controls as a way to abstract that away. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll highlight this again. We've exposed class of service based controls in our API as a way to abstract class this away. Class of service based controls. Okay, great. So yep. what this actually does is it allows the storage administrator to configure the system in a way that the DevOps guys can simply request capacity uh, to be allocated to them based on the quality of service they're allowed to have. They don't have to worry about any of those knobs. They don't have to know anything about the equipment that they're configuring. That sounds fantastic. So how long has it taken Swordfish to come together? That's the amazing part. We've been able to pull this standard together in only nine months. Nine months? Wow. So who are some of the uh, companies that are contributing to Swordfish that are actively involved? We have uh, Microsoft and VMware uh, that have been very engaged in helping to drive client requirements. We also have Intel heavily involved who has been looking at bringing in requirements from their rack scale design systems. We have my company, Broadcom. We also have Dell. We have EMC. We have NetApp. We have HP Enterprise. Uh, and. Uh, you know, those are the companies that have been very heavily engaged in driving the Swordfish standard. You know, the heavy hitters in the industry, you named almost all of them, are all actively developing it. That's really encouraging. Yes, and nearly every single one of those is also engaged in working on Redfish. Yeah, wow. So what's the relationship again between Redfish and Swordfish? Swordfish is, is actually an extension to Redfish, so we are leveraging the protocol from Redfish, we are actually leveraging all of the schema from Redfish as well. So there's no reason for us to actually develop most of the underlying schema for Redfish. A lot of storage, as you know, is actually developed using commodity servers. So there was no reason for us to build any of those parts. We're just taking them directly uh, and we're focusing exclusively on the pieces that needed to be extended for the storage services components. So what's the current level of uh, Swordfish right now? We just today, September 19th, Today? Just today, oh. absolutely just today, released version 1.0 of, of our spec, which also includes our user's guide, we include mockups, we include uh, schema both in CSDL and JSON format, uh, and released that to the wild. It is now wow. out there. Wow. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, best of luck with all this, Rochelle. It's, it's really exciting to see a RESTful API storage management spec comes out that covers the whole spectrum. Really thrilling. Yeah, thanks. We're, we're super excited. We're yeah. so, we're, we're, we could not be more excited that we managed to pull this all off in just nine months. We set a deadline for ourselves back in March, I think March, to try and make it by SDC, and we did it. Yeah, fantastic.